Hey everybody, we're here at the Environmental Health and Safety Seminar and Industry Trade Show in Galveston. I'm here with Mary Jane Mudd, of course, Mary Jane's Executive Director of ECMA, East Harris County's Manufacturers Association. Talk about ECMA, Mary Jane, and, and about the organization a little bit. Uh, what, what does ECMA bring to industry? Yeah, so ECMA is, uh, I'll say, a coalition of over 118 plant sites throughout seven regions, primarily in the ship channel area, led by about 75 corporations that care very much about producing products for society while also being environmentally responsible and safe. Uh, they offer a lot to the local community. Uh, the member companies that belong to, to ECMA would include companies like Covestro, Shell Deer Park Chemicals, Air Liquide, and many more, about 25,000 employees in all. And uh, we're looking at around 12 billion in, in payroll and taxes and capital expenditure. So they're pretty amazing corporations who offer a lot to the community. Arjun, how many members are a part of ECLA? What's the volume? Well, you know, I've never, I've never added up the, you know, yeah. I, you know, maybe I should. I mean, last I looked, our database was about 1,500. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, we look at it in terms of plant sites and also how many corporations lead those plant sites. And obviously all within Harris County, geographically. Yes, East uh, Harris County, but also a little bit surrounding areas, okay. too. It's the East Harris County region. Gotcha. So those members, Mary Jane, what are some of their benefits of being a part of ECMA, right? What are some of your programs and, and, and how does that membership imp impact them and individual? You know, ECMA allows member companies, all different companies within antitrust, you know, policies, of course, you know, with respect to each other, but they're able to come together, share best practices that are quite critical when it comes to environmental responsibility, safety, they're able to communicate about legislative issues. Uh, ECMA provides opportunities to connect with local legislators, local elected officials, contacts that are important to them in doing their jobs. And that benefits the community and society overall. Mary Jane, I want to dig into your background. So how are you connected to the industry? I mean, it goes back to even when you were a kid and your family. Oh, right? my goodness. So. Uh, as a young pup, yes. When I, when I left, uh, my first job out of college was with Dow Chemical, now called Dow. And that started a long career in industry. Uh, that was in Midland, Michigan. Eventually, I moved to Houston, Texas. And I've worked for companies such as uh, Shell Oil, ConocoPhillips, Air Liquide. I had the, opera uh, the opportunity, and my background is corporate communications, PR, and media relations. So I was a communications director for Air Liquide. Uh, that was during a time of merger. Uh, I've even spent some years with the American Red Cross. You see, over the years, I really developed a passion for crisis management, stakeholder engagement, and just, you know, helping community and industry understand each other. So, yeah, I've been doing this for a long time, and, and ECMA gives me the opportunity to, uh, to marry my, my respect for industry with my passion for community. Makes total sense. Uh, you're in a good spot. So, so Mary Jane, let's, I love it. Let's get let's get into uh, kind of ECMA's primary goals for its members, the community, and kind of industry overall. So, I joined the organization in 2021, and with the board created our strategic our strategic plan. The goals are they're focused on our business operations to make sure we run as a world class organization. Advocacy, you know, we partner with organizations like TCC, Texas Chemistry Council, mm -hmm. to support our members with elected officials and really pay attention to legislative issues of importance to them. Also, communications. Who is industry? What is industry? We socialize industry with the community the best we can and help you know, NGOs and, and media understand the value of industry. I'm blanking. Oh, community, workforce development. We're looking down down the pike of what is in our future with attrition and with people moving on. We want to bring more people coming in to understand the opportunities in industry. Those are just a few of our areas of focus with goals that support all of those things. In line with that, as it relates to this conference, Mary Jane, ECMA is a part of the EHNS Seminar on Crisis Communications Workshop. Talk a little yeah. bit about that. What, you know, what, is that, what does that entail? Well, so I get to, to lead a workshop on crisis cool. communications, but just so you know, it's not all about, about me. There are members, uh, uh, some of our member companies who have helped create public information officer workshops in the Houston and East Harris County area that we provide every year. But as for this event, I'm going to be leading a workshop that covers 
uh, how you not only communicate during a crisis, but how you develop relationships with the community. And therefore, if something does happen, you've already got some of those relationships as a foundation. And then how you work with media to communicate about what's happening and what's going on. Well, uh, Mary Jane, very insightful. Appreciate your time here at the conference. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with Big Magazine. I am so pleased for this opportunity, and I'm happy to be here. Thank and one, you. And one last thing, Mary Jane, I would say if folks want to get familiar with ECMA, where, how do they learn about you? Just go to ECMA.org, E-H-C-M-A. We always have to think it through, .org, That's and you'll find out everything you need to know, including how to become a member. Thank you so much. Mary. All right. Great to see you. Thank you. 